Cyber psychology is the intersection between technology and human behaviour. It actually studies how technology influences human behaviour for better or worse. And obviously we want to understand how it could do it for the better. I originally started as a high school teacher. I could see that young people were very engaged with online games and that the world of being online in general was very seductive for them. But they didn't really teach us as teachers how to work with young people who are now becoming more computer literate than what the teacher was. So between the two of studying as a teacher and studying as a psychologist, I realized that there was a gap in how technology impacts learning and behavior. I did my PhD project on exploring the use of biofeedback video games to help children and young adolescents with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or ADHD. We used a biofeedback video game called The Journey to Wild Divine. For my PhD I decided to design a study that attempted to quantify how people were using alcohol in social media. So I used Facebook to deliver a social norms intervention and we found that if we were able to present the difference between the perceived and the actual lower drinking norms in an engaging way that young people reduced their alcohol consumption over the next three months and we found that this effect was maintained so it was a really exciting result. To research the area of cyber psychology I need many people to do that and many organisations to, to help us out. So I formed Australia's first cyber psychology research group at the University of Sydney in the hopes that we can actually be a central point for people to come to us to say how do I make technology better for people. In my PhD, I'm building interactive soundscapes to teach people how to meditate. So I chose to do my research at the University of Sydney because when I was doing my master's in Canada, I had the opportunity to read a lot of papers that merged art and health together. And so when I was looking for a PhD program, uh, some of the female researchers that I've read worked here. So I decided to come here to work underneath them. I was looking at what areas across the lifespan technology impacts us. And the answer is it impacts us everywhere. The truth was is the time that I started in 2003, young people were taking it up the most. And I thought, well, let's focus on what are the positive impacts that they're gaining and the negative outcomes that are also being attained that they may not be aware of. The Cyber Psychology Research Group at the University of Sydney is one of the world leaders in using social media for mental health. We develop programs a lot of the time to actually see what evidence base there is for using online forums and for engaging in small group networks for online counselling such as with Kids Helpline. We also are very interested in how virtual reality can help us with phobias and particularly pain management and stress in the workplace of which we're starting to pioneer that area as well. So we're currently working with our industry partner Kids Helpline and FGX, the Future Generation Fund, to develop the world's first online, secure and completely anonymous, fully supported social network for young people to support their mental health. It's teaching youth new coping skills as well as reducing the stigma around their mental health challenges by connecting them with young people with lived experience. You know, talk with other people who are going through the same issues, bounce them off a counsellor and you know, come to a really good place where they, they know how to move forward with their, their challenges. My research is focused on digital health and how this could bring supportive care to people suffering from mental and during to post-treatment care. So it's bringing a better understanding for clinicians how they can use technology to give better advice to the patient to improve their quality of life after being treated for mental and I want people to understand that cyber psychology is not just about psychology, that it involves many different disciplines. We wanted to have students in industry from any background work with us. While we are predominantly focused on behaviour, which is the psychology aspect, we need to have computer scientists, engineers, lawyers, humanitarians and scientists all work with us to actually understand how technology can be used for the betterment of lots of people out there with mental health and health problems. We want to be able to understand why people use technology and why they use it the way they do and what they use it for, but also help them to use it in a positive way. The Cyber Psychology Research Group is interested in all things to do with information technology and how humans engage with that technology. We're certainly interested in gaming, social networking and the established platforms of wearables. But we want to know more about virtual reality and now even artificial intelligence is something we need to consider in health. The big question the Cyber Psychology Research Group wants to answer is how does technology influence our lives for the better? 
That's a perpetual question because technology keeps changing and rapidly at that. If you're a company or an individual such as a PhD student or a master's student who wants to work with us on technology innovation that will help people both in health and well-being, then we really want to hear from you. We want to actually work with many different people with great ideas, big picture innovation, so we can actually improve technology for tomorrow better than it is today. We actually want to focus on how technology can influence well-being and we want to join with industry partners and new researchers in answering that question.